was able to at least take off and fly around. Pretty much, whoa. All right, so up until now, I've only flown manual mode on a simulator. And today will be my first time ever flying an FPV drone in manual mode. So you guys wanna come along with me, I'm gonna share my first experience in manual mode with the DJ Alvada. And uh, I've been practicing for about a week on a simulator and hopefully everything uh, goes well. Hopefully uh, my skills or whatever on the simulator translates over into the real world. Uh, hopefully everything goes well. So you guys pray for me and hope that I don't destroy the Avada while trying to do it. Uh, so just stick around and we'll get right into it. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. All right, so we're about ready to go. All I need to do is um, set this up for manual mode. So I'm gonna go into my menu. Actually, let me start recording my screen so you can see what I'm doing, my goggles. And go into manual mode, or go into the settings, I'm sorry. Uh, this, all right, here we go. Go into controls, um, go into remote controller, then down here to custom mode. And we're gonna change it to manual mode. And uh, we want to confirm that, and it tells you, you know, to adjust your sticks from the back. I already did that. All right, then from here, uh, I want to go to gain and exposure. And go down to uh, attitude limit and turn that off. And you want to confirm that as well. Now, I'm not going to change any of the rates um, because I haven't uh, flown yet. Let's go back. And everything else should be set up already. Just want to go back through that. All right, so we're recording now and I have it set up to record automatically during takeoff. Uh, okay. All right, so we're all ready to go. I only have 81% and I only have one battery. So it's not gonna be too long of a flight. So uh, let's go ahead and take off. So what I'm gonna do is uh, switch it to sport mode and switch it over to manual. And then I gotta line up the sticks. All right. Now stick error. So let me turn around because I don't want this thing to... All right, we're getting a stick error. All right, let's take it out of... and get, let's get back. Let's see here. Turn it back to sports mode. So I'm not getting a sticker anymore, so let me bring this up just a little and put it in manual. Line that up. I'm still getting a sticker, so I'm not sure what's happening here. So I'm gonna put it back in normal come back over and see if I can fix the problem because I remember when Eddie Nunez had a stick problem his FPV went down in the water so I'm not sure what's going on with this all right so let me see what's going on and see if I can correct the problem all right so we're back again what I did was um, recalibrate or calibrate the sticks and let's see uh, if we can get success on this on this uh, flight. All right, so I'm starting off in uh, normal mode, so I'm just gonna bring the sticks in, start it, bring it up. Home point has been updated. Let's bring it out here to the middle of the field real quick, or close to it. All right, we're just gonna leave it hovering here, and I'm gonna put it in manual mode, line the sticks up. All right, so that's what the problem was. All right, so we're in manual mode. Let's bring this down. And definitely the rates are different from where, from what they were when I was flying the, um, the simulator. And this is my very first time flying in manual. 
on a real drone, not just a simulator. And yeah, it is a little bit uh, different in the sense where it is a little bit more responsive, I guess, to each input. Probably have to slow them down just a little bit. We'll get used to it. All right, so the people that were here are gone now, so I can actually uh, fly over here. All right, so it's going well. It's pretty much just like the simulator. Right now I'm, on, I'm going 24 miles per hour, 25. I believe if I tilt the gimbal up a little bit more, I can get better speed or faster speed. I can uh, pitch forward a little bit more. See how close I can get to the ground without. All right, here we go. Whoa. All right, so let's practice some of these maneuvers here. Just turning. And there's a car coming up. Coming down. So I'm gonna pop it in normal mode real quick. I have 50% left. And I'm gonna let it hover here. Then I'm going to rotate my gimbal probably up just to maybe 15, 15%. All right. And go back to manual mode. All right. All right. So I can probably get a little bit more speed. I swear, every time you record, somebody wants to ride past, make a whole bunch of noise. All right. Kind of a split S a little bit. It's a little bit different from the drones I was flying in the simulator. And it's a little bright, it vibrates when it comes down. I guess the, that's the prop wash, that, as they call it. I'm not sure, but yeah, it does vibrate. And this is, you know, this drone is not meant for all this. However, you can do, can do these little acrobatic moves. Right. Now, I've only been on the simulator for like a week. And, and I use liftoff, that's what I was using, and it's pretty good. After a few days, I got the hang of it. Um, I got the hang of it and uh, was able to at least take off and fly around. Pretty much, whoa. All right, so had my first crash. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's my first crash. I'm going to go ahead and retrieve it, and I'll be right back. Where am I? In the middle of the field. There we go. All right. Uh, got a little bit too low, hit the ground, flipped over, and, uh, you know, it shut the motors down and everything. But it survived. It... Um, 
has some grass in there or whatever, but I believe I have a little bit more uh, juice left in the battery. So I'm going to take it up one more time and fly for like a couple minutes and um, that's about it. All right, so we're back at it. We have 31% left. I'll probably get like maybe two minutes of flying in here and uh, bring the sticks in. And we're going to take off. We are in normal mode. Just take off in normal mode. Bring it out just a little. And then uh, just bring it up a little bit. And then put it in uh, manual mode. All right, line up the sticks. All right, here we go. A comment down below, let me know uh, what do you think of my first time flying in manual mode. Um, like I said, this is the first real world flying. Battery level is low. Throttle output. All right. So we're going to go underneath these trees just quickly. Bring it around. Yeah, definitely got to get used to the throttle here. Definitely got to get used to the throttle. So the throttle output is is limited right now because of the um, because of low battery. I'm gonna bring it down to 20% and then put it in normal mode and just bring it back. So I'm not gonna do too much heavy flying. Definitely have a little bit more confidence with this. I wanted to, uh, here we go. I wanted to um, actually get the DJI FPV, however, it's landing. How do I stop that? Oh, I gotta get used to wearing these goggles because I gotta know where all these buttons are on this remote. I haven't really used this remote at all. I've just been using the um, the motion controller uh, just to fly it around, have a little bit of fun with it. But I definitely have to get familiarized more with this remote. All right, so this is definitely a good experience. Um, I did have my first crash. I just got a little bit too close to the ground trying to uh, skim the grass or, you know, I actually did mow the lawn because it does have a little bit of grass in here, but everything is fine, the propellers uh, doesn't look, you know, they don't look like they've been nicked or anything, but it's fine. Uh, did a little rollover, not even scuffed up or anything. I just need to clean it up a little bit, get some of this grass out of it, you know, off air, these grass stains. Um, just had a couple hiccups trying to get this thing set up. I did have a stick error, but the only thing I did to correct that was to do a stick calibration and everything was fine just after that. But um, let me know what you think in the comments about my initial flight. Um, did I do all right, I guess? I don't know. You know, I didn't break it. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, stay tuned for more. Uh, I'm going to try to get some more uh, content out on this. I only have one battery right now. Um, so hopefully DJI, you know, sent off my um, Fly More pack or Fly More combo uh, pretty soon so I can get more flights in. But uh, you guys stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.